All right, the long-anticipated riff of the show. This is like uh, my favorite little section today because I love the chord progression that we're going to be playing. Uh, like we talked about uh, in the mailbag section, we talked about the one, four, five. We're going to be using the one, the four, and the five in the key of G. Like we said, it's a G to a C to a D. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to play a basic little blues riff that you've all have heard a million times. But if you play it right, it's, it's a great uh, practice technique for feel. Uh, for a little bit of string skipping, and then also ultimately, if you want to go back and play what we did in the all about technique section, we do a little riffs. You can actually record yourself playing the riff of the show, and then go back over and uh, solo using the G minor or G minor blues scale uh, over it, and it'll work well for you. Okay, the riff of the show. Let me play it for you one time, and then we'll go back and learn how to play it. It sounds like this. Back to the one. That's where it all comes back around. It's called the turnaround. Okay, let's take a look at it. We're going to do the same pattern repetitively. We just move it around. So once you learn the first pattern, it's pretty simple. Uh, Everything is going to be alternate picking. It's going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, pretty much the whole way through until the very last chord. Uh, we're starting on the third fret sixth string. We do down up there. Then we're going to go up to the octave, which is two frets over and two strings down, which is the fifth fret on the fourth string. Down up. Third fret, uh, fourth string, and then fifth fret on the fifth string. That's the main riff, the main shape that we're going to be using. Now, the the trick is the rhythm. A lot of people will do this. They do uh, where they kind of go back and forth real fast with the down up. Really, the the quick notes are between with the shuffle feel. The quick notes are between the up stroke and the next down stroke. For example, I hit the first note down, and then the fast notes change would be up stroke here. To down on the next one. So that's what you got to try to work on, and that's hard because you're changing while you're doing the upstroke and the following downstroke. You're changing strings or changing uh, fingering, but that's the way. I'm going to play that one more time, real slow, so you can hear exactly what it should sound like the right way. And that's the idea. Then we just speed that up. Also, when I hit a particular note, a lot of times I'll kind of pick up the note in between, and it gives a little bit more of that staccato feel. Remember, we talked about legato and staccato phrasing a couple shows ago. That's what we're talking about. This is a little more staccato, a little more bumpy, and a little more movie. And also, you'll notice that I'm using my fourth finger here instead of my third finger. This is like kind of like my power chord scenario. It, it's just real simple. You lay your hand real flat. I actually kind of hit some of the other strings over here and mute them out, and it gives a little more percussive feel to it rather than just doing it real clean. That compared to this. Just gives a little bit more of that grit, which I think in the blues, I really like the, the heavier grit, a little bit more distortion, just kind of beating up your guitar a little bit. Okay, so let's look at the pattern of how we're going to play it. We play that first riff three times. Now we're going to take our first finger and chromatically go up. We're going to go twice on the third fret, to the fourth fret twice, to the fifth fret twice, to the sixth fret twice. It sounds like this, keeping the same rhythm. Then from six, we go up to the eighth fret and we play that original pattern that we played down on the third fret. Only now we're just going to play it on the eighth fret and we'll do it twice. Exact same pattern. Okay, we'll move back down to where we started two more times. Then we move all the way up to the 10th fret. This will be good for you to practice sliding from the 3rd fret up to the 10th fret, trying to hit it right on. And we do this just one time. Over to the 8th fret, which is our C, same pattern, our 4th chord. Down to the 3rd fret, where we started, one time. And then we do our dominant 9 chord, which is 2nd finger, 3rd fret, 5th uh, string. 1st finger, 4th fret, 2nd string. Third finger, third fret on the third string, and our fourth finger, third fret, second string. We hit take that chord. That's a C, that's our four chord, up to the sharp four, which is just a half step up, and then up to our five chord, which is the D. So we're going C, C sharp D with the dominant nine chord. With that rhythm. 
all downstrokes. Okay, so the whole progression, uh, I'll play it slow, and I'm going to call out each chord when I get to it, the scale tone number, to kind of remind you what the one, four, five was all about. Starts on the one. Three times. Chromatically up to our four. Four chord. C. Twice. Back to the one chord twice. G. Up to the five chord. Once. C once. One chord. Chords. And then the whole progression slow, and then you guys go ahead and practice this. Learn the progression, record it, and then go back and solo over it using what we did in All About Technique, the, uh, the blue scale pattern. And you'll start to get the blues down. It's pretty happening. Here we go. And there you have it.